Good evening, Goffstown, and welcome to the live from the Grizzly Den as we're here in the gym. I'm Bob Bartolucci here with my esteemed colleague, Mr. Rob Foreman. Rob, how you doing, buddy? I'm good, Bob. How are you? Oh, I'm hanging in there. So, uh, last game uh, was very exciting here, but there was also an exciting road game in between. We went out to Londonderry. We did, and, and we talked, uh, you and I sat close to each other and talked about the game. It was a chippy game. It was tight. Uh, back and forth early on. Uh, we ended up winning by 15. and But it was I'm, a little scary. It, it felt closer. It now. was. It was hard to breathe at times. But yes. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I, I felt like we've talked so much about Ava Winterburn all year. She scored 41 points. So that's back-to-back -back games with 41 points. What, what I thought at that moment in the game, she took it over. She, yep. she has been an all-star. I elevate her to a superstar status because... She just knew that it was tight. Time to put this team on my shoulders and on my back and really make a difference. And she did. Yeah. It, every every corner and every end of the floor was about her and pulling her team together. So I, I thought it was an incredible moment in her career to see her get to that superstar status. Right. And you you could see Londonderry was doing everything they could to try to stop her. Yeah. And they Double, basically triple couldn't. team, didn't matter. It, 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 right. It didn't. Um, yeah. So they couldn't. So... It, it was an exciting game, but it did feel closer than what the final score was. It, it wasn't until, trust me, fans, if you were there, it was late in the game it when was. we really started running away with it. Um, but tonight is going to be another, I think, scary game. I, Pinker, too, I Pinkerton's think good. This is uh, night one of the playoffs, I think. You approach it that way. Correct. Both teams come in here at 12-3. and three. Um, fourth place is on the line, and I, I think it's an important you know, statement game. you gotta, you got to prove that you're that number four team. Yep. We're going to go to Al here for introductions. Um, we'll actually hear the national anthem and everything else. And Al, you can hear us, right? Yes, yeah. I can. Okay, yeah. good, buddy. We added a new member to our team here. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll work him up to see how long he's going to stay on. That's right. <laughs> He'll be up for a contract renewal. <laughs> yeah, and, re you know, real quick. Pinkerton is a very athletic team, so we're That's going to have true. fun tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Goffstown High School for tonight's NHIAA Division I basketball game between the Astros of Pinkerton Academy and the Grizzlies of Goffstown High School. We ask for your cooperation at this NHIAA event in showing your respect for the athletes, coaches, and officials to make this game a meaningful one for all of those involved. And now, let's meet tonight's starting lineups. First for Pinkerton Academy. At forward, a five foot 10 inch freshman, number 21, Brooke Benz. At forward, a six foot one inch sophomore, number 25, Kaylee Dupree. At guard, a five foot seven inch sophomore, number 12, Emily Leonard. At guard, a five foot nine inch sophomore, number 33, Sydney Jirasi. And at guard, a five foot 11 inch junior, number 23, Liz Lavoy. The coach of the Astros is Lanny Besky. Her assistant is Mark Kel Bollinger. Mary Al, correction. And now here's the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. At forward, a six foot one inch senior, number 12, Ava Winterburn. At forward, a five foot nine inch sophomore, Number 14, Meredith Winterburn. At guard, a five foot nine inch senior, number 21, Ava Vaughn. At guard, a five foot nine inch junior, number one, Maggie Sasso. And at guard, a five foot five inch senior, number three, Ava Ruggiero. The coach of the Grizzlies is Steve Largie. 
Assistant coaches are Nate Bracity and Cassidy Lalamere. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise and remove your hats as we honor America, our servicemen and women serving all over the globe, and all of our veterans with the playing of our national anthem. All right, Grizzly fans, we're back live here from the Grizzly Den, where the Lady Grizzlies are going to be playing uh, the Pinkerton Astros in this exciting basketball action, and we're just about ready for tip-off, and what are we going to be looking to do against this um, very athletic, bigger, stronger team? Yeah, you no, know, I think um, it, it's going to be one of those games where it's going to be a little tougher to get those transition baskets. I think they're going to be a little more physical. The rebounding, which has plagued us a few times late in the season, where we've been out-rebounded by teams, this is a night where you got to get the rebounds. Um, they have some good size, very athletic, so I think that they want to play a similar style that, that we do. In this game, like you said, it's going to be almost like a pre-playoff game. It is. It is a playoff game it because is. we're playing for fourth place. Right? Yeah, yeah. because essentially if you know we're, we're four and they're five, you know, there's a chance somewhere you might see them later on and you'd rather play them at home again. Correct. And this will be for, if we win this, we'll get home court advantage That's for right. sure for a That's game. Right. So. so Ava Winterburn will be taking the tip off here against Kaylee Dupuy. Meredith Winterburn over to Ava. Ava puts one up and just misses. Sasso just tried to keep that in, just missed. So the Astros will get possession of this ball. And we got Sophia Polanik bringing it down. Or no, that's uh, Jirasi. So Jirasi goes all the way in with it to Dupuy. Dupuy couldn't get it up over Ava Winterburn and Ruggiero. Sasso's with the ball over to Ava Ruggiero. Ruggiero. Offensive foul. What are they calling that? They're Legal calling that screen on Ava. On Ava. Yeah. Ava Winterburn. So inbounding this will be Emily Leonard. She'll inbound this to Cindy Jirasi. So Jirasi with the ball for the Astros. Over to Leonard. Leonard puts it up from three-point land. Sasso knocks that rebound away, but right to Meredith Winterburn. Meredith Winterburn works it down the court to Ava Vaughn, the Ruggiero. Back to Sasso. Sasso good goes take in. take by Maggie. Yep, that's good. That's what we want to see. She likes getting that first step in there, and she drew a foul. So she'll go to the line. Try to break the zeros on the scoreboard. And just missed there. This is another area where I think we're, we're going to definitely have to be on for yeah. the game. We're going to have to hit. When we go to the line, we're going to have to hit the shots. Absolutely. Maggie takes the second one. That was nice. Sinks that one right in. So here we go. We got Leonard now inbounding this for Jirasi. Jirasi over to Dupuy. Got it down to Lavoy. Lavoy got that one in. A good move in the paint by Lavoy. She's their leading scorer, averaging just under 20 a game. So Ruggiero now over to Vaughn. Vaughn has it. She does a little spin and goes up underneath. And she just missed putting that one in. So it's Lavoy coming back down. She goes up over Winterburn. Winterburn gets the rebound. Sasso now with the ball. 
Sasso works her way down the court. Top of the point, uh, she tried to go to Ruggiero, but it was intercepted by Lavoie, and Lavoie did a, sunk a nice layup there. Yeah, she jumped that passing lane, got a good read on it, and off to the races she yeah, went. a little too telegraphed there. So Sasso's got the ball now. Throws it to Winterburn and almost over her head. Good thing she's six, too. <laughs> yeah. Sasso over to Vaughn. Vaughn goes in with it. Tried to throw one up and again missed. So we're, we're having a hard time here getting some buckets. Yeah. So Jirasi's got the ball. She's going in on Ruggiero. Kicks it out to Lavoie. That was missed. Now Winterburn with a breakaway thanks to Sasso. Yep. And Winterburn lays one up. So four to three. Grizzlies are within one. And, you know, you can get those transition baskets when you get the rebounds, and off to the race as we go. So, Jirasi over to Dupuis. Dupuis over to Lavoie. Lavoie tries to go in on three Grizzlies. And I think Ava Vaughn took a foul here against yeah. Jirasi. So that's going to put her, uh, Sydney Jirasi, in the line. Three shots. So Jirasi will go to the line. Oh, well, two, they gave her a two. Let's sink the first one. So Jirasi will shoot again. And she sunk that one in, oh, too. three shots. I was right there. Fisher was wrong. See yeah. that? Normally when you foul a three-point shooter, you get three shots, right? Correct. And she was in three-point land when she took the foul. And thank God she only got two of them. <laughs> Winterburn, Winterburn came down with the rebound there. Vaughn now with the ball. Vaughn over to Ava Ruggiero. Ruggiero over to Sasso. Sasso started to penetrate, but kicks it out to <laughs> Ava Winterburn. And Winterburn hits a three-pointer. Nice shot. That's good. If we get Ava going, cooking along, we'll feel very confident here. Jirasi with the ball. She's working it in, but Ruggiero's keeping her to the outside. And Winterburn, oh, they kicked it oh, out. Oh, good steal by Ruggiero. It went into Benz, and Ruggiero took that right away from her. Now Meredith Winterburn's up underneath. Throws it out to Ruggiero. Oh, Ruggiero thought about, thought about yeah, taking the three points and backed out. Now she's going oh. in. Oh, I think she tried to feed Vaughn. I think she? so. It's kind of ball slipped out. So it still remains Gosstown possession here. Ruggiero's going to inbound this. So Ruggiero inbounds it to Meredith Winterburn. I mean to Ava Ruggiero. Winterburn. Back to Ruggiero. Hits a three from Vaughn's corner. That's right. She hits a couple tonight. We'll just call it the Ava corner. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Cover all of them. <laughs> so Lavoie's got the ball now for the Astros. Over to Leonard. And this was back to Lavoie. Lavoie kicks it. No, oh, no. Yeah, Lavoie's got it now, sorry. And then Ava Winterburn. Back. Winterburn cut it to the outside and gets the rebound here. Ava goes down, feeds Sasso underneath. Sasso kicks it out to Vaughn, who's got a wide open three. And oh, oh, just, just missed, Winterburn. but Ava Winterburn came down with the yeah, rebound. Great offensive rebound. Yeah, and drew the foul on Giroff, on, uh, Might be on Lavoie. Lavoie. Yeah. That's her second. No, 21. 21. Gave it to Benz. I really thought Lavoie hit her. I did too, to be honest. I well, that'd looking. be the second time. I thought it was Jirasi because 23 and 33 look close yeah. to my old eyes. So Ava hit the first foul shot. 10-6 Grizzlies. And Winterburn puts them both in, which is good. So Leonard's going to bring this out for the Astros over to Jirasi. Rossi brings the ball over mid-court. And the Grizzlies again playing a nice defense of keeping the outside. And the boy tries Double to go dribble. inside. Double dribble. That'll be another turn of yeah. turnover. I thought Vaughn was going to get caught with a little hand check Reaching there. in, yeah. yeah. So Ruggiero inbound it to Sasso. Sasso now with the ball. Over to Ava Winterburn. Back to Ruggiero. Oh, Ruggiero looked like she was ponying up to take the three, but she Good decided take. to go oh. in underneath. Oh, man, I like that ball. take, though. And Ruggiero fighting for the rebound. Boy, they're giving him plenty of time underneath. Ruggiero hooks one up, 
and just missed. Plenty Meredith extra grabbed shots. it, threw it up. So you got Leonard, sends it over to Lavoy. Lavoy was working it down the court. She's going to try to go inside on Sasso, kicks it out to Benz. And two. Uh, Lavoy hit that one, 23. I'm getting Jirasi and Lavoy mixed up constantly here. Sasso to Winterburn. Winterburn just off the rim. Vaughn gets the rebound. Vaughn put it up. Winterburn gets the rebound twice. Kicks it out to Meredith Winterburn. Takes a three Back and hits in. it. Meredith hit a three. Yeah. Nice assist from her sister. I, we had a great angle. It was right in front of us, <laughs> I and I saw it go in the left. I go, that's not going in. Thank goodness for the glass. Caroline Foreman's going to be coming into the game now. But we got Dupuy out front, and she... Was that Benz or... Yeah. No, Lavoy. Not on Ava. Yeah, Lavoy, Lavoy took the three out in the other yeah. corner. So Caroline Winterburn, I mean Caroline Foreman. Caroline There's only two Carol Winterburns. Winter, yes, that's true. That's enough, right? Caroline Foreman came in for Ava Vaughn. Good hmm. shot there. That was a nice three by uh, Lavoy. And like you said, Liz Lavoy is the one we're going to have to watch on yeah. Pickerton. So we've got to find a way to shut her down. We got Ava Ruggiero here to pass midcourt to Sasso. Sasso looking around. It's going in, good and take, she Maggie. takes a nice two. That's good. So, Gastown mm. seems to be spreading out the scoring a little bit here. We got Jarasi here with the ball. She tries to go in, and Ruggiero, Ruggiero, send her back. Leonard takes a long wow. three, and that missed, and that went out of bounds. So, Sasso inbound this. Yeah, I'm really surprised Pinkerton settling for that three-pointer, and I thought they had some good looks early on driving to the basket. Well, they, not only that, they were drawing fouls. They were, yeah. A couple of fouls early, and uh, they seem to back out. So, they want to get into a shooting war. Winterburn here. She's going to bring it in. Right around three Astros and just lays that up yeah, nice. Yeah, great ball fake from the perimeter like she was going to shoot. Got the defender off her feet and then went to the basket and scored with that left hand. Tarasi, Tarasi out to Benz. Benz kicks it out to Leonard. Over to Lavoy. Lavoy lost it, went back to Leonard, to Jirasi, and Jirasi took a three and missed. Sasso to Meredith Winterburn. Meredith goes up Good underneath, take, and nice take is right. So that's Time out, Pinkerton. That was yeah. great. That was a, that was a yeah. good. Yeah, Meredith had good good uh, understanding where she was on the floor. She sealed that defender. We're going to get a replay of it here. Sealed that defender, able to get under the basket right here. Uh, and a great angle to take it in. So, yeah, like you said, it, you know, getting lots of contributions here, lots of scoring. The two all-stars from both teams are having their way offensively. Yeah. Um, Pinkerton looks a little frustrated on offense. So I think our, our defense has picked up a little bit. Well, and I also think I kind of overheard the coach a little bit. She's uh, letting them know that to just they can work it in, not yeah. just to settle for taking yeah. those threes. I agree. So, I think I said that earlier. Well, they were making a Put me on the play. payroll. There, yeah. there you go. Hey, we got to be on any payroll right now, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll take what we can Some get. payroll would be good. Yeah, there you go. Some better than none. I encourage the GTV fans <laughs> to send in your emails. <laughs> <laughs> send them right to the Gostown principal's office. Yeah, Frank McBride. <laughs> Frank McBride. Or Scott Gross. Yeah, Scott Gross can do it too. That's yeah. true. Um, okay, Dupuis got the ball out to Leonard. Over to Lavoy. Lavoy's looking around. She's not going to take the three. See, they're less apt to take the threes now. Yeah. And that's. Uh, she stepped out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah, Lavoy, good defense. Lavoy had the ball and stepped out of bounds. With yeah, Goffstown did a real good job there. Again, they, they do a lot of the switching on defense, and it makes it tough for the other team to penetrate. So now Ruggiero's got the ball. She goes in over to Penny Annis. Oh, and it's hit away. By Dupuy. And oh, Dupuy nice tried block. to go up for a layup, but Penny blocked her. But she was determined Just to get down there and it. block it. Yeah. yeah, after she kind of made the mistake there, she was going to make sure she was going to pay a price for it. So Leonard now inbounds this over to Lavoy. And then I believe it was Benz who grabbed the second rebound yeah, and put it up. So now you got Ava Ruggiero to Maggie Sasso. 15 seconds, so we want to get a good one here. Yep. Let's get one more shot off and hopefully good for a bucket. There's Giro. She's kind of directing traffic. She looks like she's going to go in herself. Oh, oh she kicked uh -huh. it out to Caroline Foreman, who takes a three and just, just missed. Out. 
Well, they got a good look there. Yep, they did get a little good last look, and most importantly, we prevented them from getting it and going down and scoring. Exactly. So 20 to 13, so we're up by seven after the first quarter. Yeah, I mean, 20 points in a quarter, that's a lot of offense. You know, you're on pace for 80 points, which yep. is a lot higher than what we normally score. So, again, it was a great distribution. I like seeing Maggie drive to the basket. Um, you know, Ava Winterburn getting hers. Ava Regier with a couple nice shots. We haven't seen the Vaughn corner come into play yet, but that's coming. Right. So, you know, it's a couple I, good signs. It, it's pretty even going back and it forth, is. to be honest with you. It I is. mean, we're up by seven, but, I mean, it feels tighter than that. Um, I agree. The, the atmosphere seems a little different in here, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's just you and me. Uh, it seems to be the fans are a little bit more hesitant. Every play seems to be a yeah. little bit more important. I think it was demonstrated by Penny Annis when yeah. – she lost control of the ball here. She and was she, gonna hustle down. She and said, oh, I'm not going to let this go on me. Yeah, and that's you know, what I meant early, early in the broadcast, that this is a playoff-type game. You know, you, if you make a mistake, you got to hustle back and make sure that you don't make two mistakes in a row. Right. Um, and you got to be locked in and focused. And I think it's what you're seeing in the, the looks of these girls is they're locked in. They're tired. They're winded. Um, they're playing hard. Right. So Leonard inbound this for Jirasi. And back to Leonard. I'm going to get this Jirasi, uh, the boyfriend, straightened out before the end of the night. But Leonard over to Benz. I'll say the numbers are kind of small on the back of the jerseys. Yeah, this, yeah. And this is Jirasi. Jirasi over to Benz to Leonard. Leonard's going to take the three. It went off the rim, and Ruggiero came down with the rebound here. Ruggiero over to Sasso. Sasso back to Ruggiero. And Winterburn was creating a little bit of a screen. Foreman over to Ava Winterburn. Winterburn goes in, kicks it out to Ruggiero. He's going to take a long three just off the rim. Ava Winterburn got enough of that rebound to get it back to Caroline Foreman. Over to Ava Ruggiero. Ruggiero is going to work her way in. I don't know, she how, she got I don't know how she off. didn't get a foul there. Yeah, I don't either. There's a foul one way or the other, but that much contact is either an offensive foul or defensive foul. Right. You know? And there was enough contact to lock for zero down. Absolutely. So somebody should have been called for something. So Jirasi's got the ball. Ruggiero's trying to keep her to the outside. Over to Benz. Winterburn's on her. Leonard goes in, works it in. Good play. Throws over. it underneath. Foul on Penny. It was a good ball movement there by Pinkerton. Yep. So that's going to put Dupuy, Dupuy in the line. Kaylee Dupuy. Eva Vaughn's going to come back into the game. So Kaylee Dupuis going to get two shots here. And the first one's in. Vaughn comes back in. She's going to spell Ruggiero. And in for the Astros is LeBron. She'll replace Leonard. So Kaylee Dupuis is going to take her second shot. Grizzly leads down to six, and she missed. So Penny Annis got the ball over to Winterburn. Ava Winterburn slows it down and brings it down over to Maggie Sasso. Sasso out midcourt, again directing traffic. Gotta like the communication. Absolutely. So Sasso trying to work her way in. Winterburn's creating a little Good bit of a screen. And oh, they, he waved it off. He's calling her for a travel. I don't know how that happened. I'm blown away. I, in order to travel, you have to have taken extra steps. There were no extra steps. That's not a travel in any league I've ever seen. No, that was a no. lousy call. No. No, no two ways about it. Jirasi over to Knight. And, okay. That's that a foul for sure. The boy went crashing in, so it should be on the boy. They're calling it some white? Yeah, Maggie. Okay. Is this my homerness coming out or what? I really well, I, I, I think you're, you're looking for consistency. I mean, there's nothing called on this side, but you're going to call that and just make it consistent. Meredith Winterburn's going to come back in for the Grizzlies. We got Jirasi here with the ball at the point. She inbounds this over to Knight. Knight put it up off the rim, but Knight came down with a rebound. Kicked it out to... Dupuy, who missed, then there's another foul under the basket. And that's that's the case where, you know, we gave him two extra shots, two extra chances. So Penny Annis. It's two for Penny. So Lavoy is going to, this is the last one he went on the line, too. Yeah, exactly. And, well, Lavoy missed one, thank goodness. 
Meredith's going in for Penny Ennis. So Lavoie's going to take the second shot here. And missed she missed that one, wow. too. So, Well, like I said, the foul shots are going to be important, and they're just as important for both sides Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So Ava Winterburn's taking a long three off the rim, and that went over to Dupuy. Dupuy over to Jirasi. Jirasi steps up, takes a long two, but missed that one. Jirasi now up at the point. Sasso on her. She got it in a little bit, but kicked it out. Dupuis. Good rebound by Sasso. Yep, and Sasso uh, just put her back too. Yep. Um, LeBron kept her off. Sasso went in, and yeah. if anything, she might have took an extra step there. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> that one wasn't good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so Dupuis went up underneath the basket and got it. So the Grizzlies are going to call a full timeout here. Yeah, they look a little out of sync offensively. Well, uh, I think part of it was thrown off. Again, that's my homerness, but uh, part of it was thrown off with these calls. Yeah. And these, like you said, they're very, at the it, very least, inconsistent. Inconsistent, yeah. You, you can say bad or good calls any day, but that was inconsistent, what we saw down there versus there. Um, but, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, coach has got to get them back on track here. Let's move the ball. We know that we have plenty of people that can score. Let's drive. Let's get to the basket. Um, I, I did notice that Pinkerton looked a little tired at times, a little more tired than us. Yep. So, you know, take it to them. And, uh Got to control those boards. We say it over and over and over. Control those boards. You can't give a team two or three extra shots. Yeah, it's been a little while now since we scored. So yeah. 20 to 16 is yeah, the Yeah, we haven't score. scored this quarter. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, it was 2013 after the first. So Right. So we, we have to start developing a little bit more offensive consistency, I think. Agreed. We've got Meredith Winterburn now is inbounding this for Maggie Sasso. Sasso is going to work her way down the court. And the Astros are back playing a zone. Vaughn with the ball now. Ooh, and she got the ball stolen, but she also took down. Yeah, Vaughn's going to be called a foul for that. It's two on her. So now fouls are starting to stack up for the Grizzlies. I think you can see our girls getting a little bit. Uh, the girls are getting a little frustrated here with the calls. So I kind of don't blame them. I don't know what this yeah, no. ref's doing. It's the same one, too. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You're exactly right. Uh, anyway, Lavoy hunt. It's 20 to 19. Lavoy sunk a basket. So Sasso with the ball. Ava Winterburn. Ava was going to go to Meredith, and she kept it back out to Sasso. Sasso's got the ball off the foot. Sasso still got the ball over to Vaughn. Vaughn comes in underneath, and somehow she stayed in bounds. Kicked that out to Caroline Foreman, who takes a three. Just missed. Ava went to Brown with the rebound. I don't know how she got that off. I don't know how she got it off either because there were two Astros there were. draped on her. So she drew the foul. And finally, this guy called the different. <laughs> so Caroline Foreman came out and Ruggiero is back in. So basically, we got the five starters for the Grizzlies Correct. back out on the court. Ava Winterburn takes a shot, puts that in. So she made it a three-point play and kind of needed it, too, 23 to yeah, 19. Yeah, got to jump start that offense again. Yep, so Jirasi's now with the ball. She works her way down. Over to Dupuis, Dupuis. Good to box out. Vaughn with a great box out. Ruggiero reaches and gets that rebound. I tell you, Ruggiero with those rebounds is like, yeah. unbelievable. Meredith Winterburn now with the ball. Good feed from good Sasso. Take. And then she drew a foul, so that'll put her on the line. And if that's Lavoie, that's her second. 25. 25, so that would be Dupuis. So Meredith on the line now. I'd like to see her get it. That'll give the lead to five. And Meredith puts one up and right in. There you go. Meredith on the line again for her second shot. And I thought that was going to be short at first. Yeah, but that she set right off, in. but yep. hit a little rim and went in. Yep. So you got LeBron over to Jirasi. Jirasi with the ball. Kicks it out to Lavoy. Lavoy goes in on Ruggiero. Oh, got away Ruggiero with Ruggiero kind of hit it down. I don't know if she got all ball or not. Uh, Ooh. A little force there. 
Yeah. I love the transition. I love to push it. But that was one where Ava had three defenders on her. Right. You have to make a perfect pass to get that ball in her hands. And then she still got three defenders. On her. <laughs> right. <laughs> Although she'd probably score. Right. Tarasi for the boy. To, um, that's the Should have been a charge. Yep. So we zero, zero. on that time. So working in for the Astros is Hayden Lassisi. So that's gonna get um, that's gonna get Dupuis off the court. Ruggiero now with the ball. She inbounds it to Sasso. Sasso is gonna work her way past the mid court. Over to Ava Winterburn. Winterburn over to Vaughn. Vaughn moves around to Ava Ruggiero. Ruggiero in Vaughn's corner, and she lost control, oh, but I think on a reaching foul. A reaching foul on Jirasi. That's her That's second. That's only her first. That's her first. So Ruggiero now got possession of this. Now the fouls are evened out six for each, so we're bonus from here on out in the half. So Ruggiero's looking to inbound this. Over to Meredith Winterburn, back to Ruggiero. Ruggiero's gonna take a three from the point and almost went in, but Winterburn, Winterburn comes down with a rebound. rebound. Two Astros on her, but she still got the ball. Ava Vaughn now gets that rebound. Over to Maggie Sasso. Sasso kicks it out to Meredith Winterburn, who takes a Good long shot, two and Meredith. Hit it. Well, Meredith's on it tonight. That's great. Spot up. A great drive by Ava Vaughn to go into the paint and then kick it out to her. Yep, that was a nice pass. But what nice. set that up was how many offensive rebounds there. Two extra shots we got. Yep, and Ava got two of those rebounds. Yep. So that's. The rebounds are important. We said that in the beginning. So that was Jirasi put that ball up and just went off the rim. Meredith Winterburn came down with the rebound. The Ruggiero over to Sasso. Sasso takes a long two. Oh. Just missed. And it looks like Lassisi came down with this rebound. So she's going to work it. That was a travel, but that wasn't <laughs> called. We're going to let those go. <laughs> Jirasi's got the ball. She throws it. Well, CC gets the ball. She gets the rebound and turns it around and puts that in. I'm still, I'm still amazed that Pinkerton's offense is to shoot the three. They've been very successful inside. 27-21. Meredith Winterburn over to Vaughn. Vaughn makes a good jump to keep it. Back to Meredith. Meredith spits it out to Ava Winterburn. She got hit. And Ava That's a foul. on boy there. That's two on her. So that'll put... Ava on the line. Again, this is a very tight playoff feeling game. Absolutely. So Ava went to burn on the line. And she got the first basket. And for the Astros, as Leonard is back in, she's going to take off Lavoie. Again, Lavoie is their offense. So Yeah, she's 20 points a game. How many she got tonight, there? Uh, I'm only asking you because you already you always know. Ten. She's got ten of twenty-one. So she's so, got half yeah. the points. Yep. So Ava Winterburn sunk both her baskets. Jirasi with the ball now, trying to go in on Sasso. Kicks it out to Laverne. Laverne over to Lassisi. Lassisi's going in on Vaughn. Ooh, Roger almost Jirasi. had that. Roger almost picked it off. Wide open. Was LeBron? She put it up. Great rebound Vaughn by Vaughn. Down the rebound, Just right cleared that ball. Yep, right in front of Benz. Now Ruggiero with the ball over to Sasso. Sasso looking around over to Vaughn. Vaughn comes out with it. She's on the top of the uh, point. She tried to feed Meredith, but kind of threw it behind her. That's a bad call because that was tipped by Red. Yeah, Meredith tried to tell him, but uh, apparently he didn't want to listen. No, and the other official's not even looking. That was off 20's hand. It was. Not sure what's going on tonight. Yeah, the officiating, well, let's say it, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and you're hopeful when you have two really good teams playing that the game is called fairly and evenly. All right, the nice CC stuff. Was hit away. Meredith went to burn over to Ruggiero oh. underneath, and she was fouled big time by the CC. Let's see if they get this call right. Should be on 20. Yeah, it is. Okay, they did get that call right. So Ruggiero now will go to the line for the Grizzlies. So 
Ruggiero puts up the first one, and that's right in, nothing but net. So Ruggiero will now take a second shot. And she got them both. So 31-21, lead first. Yeah, up 10. 10. Yeah, yeah. First largest double lead digit here. Lead. And yep. We'd like to get a stop here and then another shot. And Jirasi kicks it out to Lassisi. To Jirasi. Jirasi tries to go in with it. Oh, and running one-hander there. Yep, that was a nice shot. And that, that's what we were talking about. They didn't take the three, yeah. and they went in with it. I think they're going to have, if I were them, I would. that's where they're going to have the more success, apparently. Agreed. So Meredith Winterburn now has the ball. And I think the Grizzlies just want to slow this down. You get one good shot. seconds left, right? Yep. Sasso with the ball. Ava Winterburn creates a pick. Over to Vaughn. Vaughn now out. Well, Vaughn stopped her dribble, so it's over to Sasso. Yeah, so right about 10, Sasso you want to make your way to the basket here. And Sasso's going to work it in. Take, and Maggie. nice. What a, that was beautiful. beautiful. That was really good. She went around That's too exactly fast. That's how you draw it up, right? Yep. You draw it up. All right, we got the ball about 20 seconds. Let's eat the clock. Maggie, go to the basket. You know, get us a basket. Two seconds left. Yep. Yeah. And, and it was nothing wrong with that shot. That was beautiful. It was beautiful. So right and she actually had winter spin. burn on the other side. She yes. could have dumped it to. So a good take by her. Um, a really strong second quarter by the Grizzlies. It, um, start, it didn't start out strong. It didn't. It was a while before they broke the seal. Right. And then Winterburn got that first few points, and then, and then uh, Meredith really kicked in nicely that quarter. And the key was where, where they broke the seal, so to speak, yeah. uh, was with the, the foul that was drawn, and it was a three-point. Yep. So uh, Ava went to the line for three. Yep. And got all three baskets. Um, and that, that was very important. So the officiating has been inconsistent. <laughs> yeah. But I think the girls have to, you know, in other words, they have to realize that's going to happen. Agreed. Might happen in the playoffs that's and right. play through it. Yep. And we've been in this situation before. We have a really good first half against Bedford. Yes. You know, similar situation. You're up Portsmouth 10. Portsmouth, too. Yeah, you're up 10 at Bedford. You've got to put two good halves together. They're going to make some adjustments, Pinkerton. Probably going to offensively. Defensively, they're going to key on Meredith and, and Ava probably because they're hot. Right. And, um, you know, you've got to put together another good 16 solid minutes. Right. So, I mean, this game's far from over. Again, it's got that playoff feel. It's Like you said, it's it like does. a playoff game. So uh, we're going to kick it back to the studio and take a little break here for halftime, and we'll be back for exciting second half action.
watching Grizzly Basketball. One minute from the start of the second half. Um, very exciting first half. I mean, nothing more can be said about that, but there's very exciting. So what are we looking at here for the second half? Yeah, I, I think it was clear that they were wanted to take uh, Ava Winterburn out of the equation as much as they could. Right. Her sister stepped up. She had nine. Meredith had nine. Ava still had 13. Um, Rogera had uh, five, and uh, Maggie had five. So we have plenty of options to score. And I think it's it's don't force it to Ava. Let it come to Ava. Right. You're going to back off. You're going to tire him down. I thought we did a good job on the rebounding. We need to continue that. And um, if we get the chance to run, let's run. But, you're, again, you're, you're 10 point lead here. So pressure's on Pinkerton. But let's put two good halves together. Well, the pressure is on Pinkerton. But, like you said, I'd like to put together the two good halves. Yeah, absolutely. This is, this is one of those good teams yep. that we have to put it together for. Absolutely. So uh, it's going to be white ball taking this out. So uh, I believe Maggie Sasso is going to inbound this. And now the Grizzlies are going uh, from left to right on your TV dial. Very nice. And the other thing, the Grizzlies shot uh, 11 free throws in the first half, made 10 of them. So yep. that's excellent which shooting. Is, which is one of the things we needed, boards and free throws. Meredith went to burn. Throws it out to Vaughn. Vaughn goes in from Vaughn's corner, but she goes right underneath. Took a <laughs> underhand layup. I uh, don't know how it went in, but it did. It did go we'll in. Take it was it. Nice, nice basket by Vaughn. It was a really good take to the basket, and it just kind of like floated up in the air. That's true. So like a steal by Vaughn. Good steal defense. by Vaughn off Benz. Throws it out to Meredith. Went to burn. Meredith back to Vaughn. Vaughn over to Ruggiero. Ruggiero's taking a long three and almost got it. And Meredith went to burn. Got the rebound. Oh, out Vaughn to Sasso. It. 
Oh, no, it was Vaughn. Yeah. yeah, of course. I know what I'm doing here. Ruggiero. Ruggiero with the ball. Takes a nice two, and she hit it. So that's a quick four points for the Grizzlies here to start out the quarter. That's the best way to start it out. Yeah, they got a little pep in their step here. That's good. Jirasi now with the ball. Over to Benz. Benz over to Leonard. Leonard back to Lavoie. Lavoie takes uh, a long two and hit it. That was a nice clean shot by Lavoie. And you can't give her too many looks. No, She's going to hit him more often than not. Ruggiero now with the ball. She works it over midcourt. And she ooh, tries to feed Sasso, but I think it was a little too telegraphed. Lavoie over to Durasi. Back to Lavoie. That was a nice pass. I thought Durasi was going to put that up. Well, Sasso with the ball now. She's working it down over to Winterburn. Uh, Benz came over the top of Winterburn, but they let that go. Ruggiero takes a long two. Ava Winterburn, Winterburn right the there, rebound, yep. right in front of Benz. To Got herself in perfect position for that yep. offensive rebound. So Durasi now with the ball for the Astros, works it in. Over to Dupuis, to Lavoie, to Durasi, and Durasi drained a three. So Sasso, the Ruggiero. Sasso back with the ball. Grizzlies up by nine. Sasso with the ball. Tries to work it in over to Meredith Winterburn. Winterburn kicks it out to her sister, Ava. Ava takes a long three. Vaughn underneath with Leonard fighting for the rebound. Leonard gets it, but she, uh, they're going to call Vaughn yeah, for a push. Yeah, she gave her that extra little push. She didn't have to. And that's going to be three on Ava. Yep, that's her third personal foul. So now Leonard's going to inbound this for Jirasi for the Astros. And Ruggiero's on her in the top of the point. Over to Dupuis. Dupuis out to Lavoy. Lavoy thought about a three. Goes in on Vaughn. And she took Winterburn it. Winterburn with the rebound. Yeah, didn't hit anything. Winterburn has it over to Ruggiero. Ruggiero back out to Winterburn on top of the circle. She's got bends on her. That's her gave up. Winterburn just went in for a nice layup. Nothing seems to phase her when she's no. in the zone here. She's up to, like, what, 17, I think. Yeah, 15, yeah. Okay, Jirasi with, takes a long shot just off the rim and out. Leonard kicked it back up to Jirasi. Intercepted Mer oh. by Meredith with the burn off everybody's feet. Then everybody goes White to the ball. floor. Good hustle by both teams. Yep. You had two people fighting for the ball, Jirasi yeah. and Meredith Winterburn, and Jirasi's hurt. Yeah, she might have twisted her ankle. Yeah. yeah, she went down pretty hard. Yeah. Looks like she's okay. Yeah. Shaking it off. Yeah, good sportsmanship all the way around there. Yeah, you like to see players helping each other up. Yep. And I understand a couple of them play on club basketball teams. Yeah, so, so some of these girls know each other absolutely. really well. So you got uh, Ava Ruggiero over to... Sasso, to Ava Winterburn to Vaughn. Vaughn over to Meredith Winterburn. Back out to Vaughn. Vaughn goes to Vaughn's corner. Ava Vaughn over to Winterburn. Oh. Ava's now. Oh. Yeah, that's. And that was on Lavoy, I think. It is on Lavoy. Is she calling him? Is he no, he's not he's calling Vaughn, is he? Yeah. Yes. Good that's, the, that's the right call. So it's Lavoy. Yeah, she, yeah, when she was going to fight through the screen, giving a push and a shove, you can't do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, Ast Ast Astros aren't happy. Rickard and coach doesn't like it, but yeah, she didn't I, see it the way we did. Neither, neither neither team and nobody here is happy with the officiating today. <laughs> but anyway, that was the right call, I think. But anyway, Sasso went in for the layup, just missed that. And uh, what happened is Leonard came down with the rebound over to Jirasi. And she looks like she's getting around okay, so that's good that she's not hurt. And let's see, that Dupuis with the ball in underneath the Durasi went off the backboard. Ava Winterburn came down with the rebound. She's now going out. She goes in close, but she was yeah. denied by Lavoy. She didn't see that defender trailing. So coming back in uh, uh, is Knight uh, replacing Benz for the Astros. Ava Ruggiero is going to inbound this over to Ava Vaughn to Ruggiero. Ruggiero tries to go in, throws one up underneath. The rebound came down by Dupuis, a combination of Dupuis and Leonard to give it back to Jirasi. Jirasi now works it down for the Astros, and she's going to take a three, and she drained that one. 
So that was a nice basket for her. 33-41 Grizzlies. Sasso throws oh, a play. Yeah, a rainbow pass yes. over to Winterburn, who's under the basket, and she was caught in a mismatch because she was there with Leonard. Was. Probably the shortest Astro on the court right now. Astros are a fairly good team. They're they long are. too. Lavoy so again. Lavoy came in with a nice layup right around uh, Ruggiero and Sasso. Sasso now with the ball. Throws it out to Ruggiero on the top of the point. Winterburn tries to create a screen. Ruggiero over to Winterburn. Winterburn looks around. Got Vaughn wide open on the uh, other side. Tried to go back inside to Ruggiero, but it was intercepted by Jirasi. Jirasi's taking another long three. <laughs> Just missed going in. Ava Vaughn with the rebound. Vaughn throws it out to Sasso. Sasso, a long pass to Meredith Winterburn, who's underneath. Good and job, Meredith. Meredith thinks another basket. That's up to 11 points. This might oh, be that's 13 season high for her. her. She's got two 13. baskets, so 13. So this might be a season high for her. Yeah. Leonard with the ball now. Ava Ruggiero all over her. Dupuy over to Lavoy. Lavoy stopped by Ruggiero. This is Ava going Winterburn one way, now. All the way to the yeah. basket. And Knight was on her. Yeah, that's good. Deal. Oh, Maggie should have taken that back up. Yep. Maggie brings it around Vaughn over corner. to Vaughn. Nope. Yep. Vaughn's corner, but Vaughn oh. again runs in. Oh. Who are they going to call offensive? So Vaughn's got four fouls now. <laughs> there was quite a delay in that call. But I'll tell you, when both both players are in the air like that, it's impossible for you to offensive foul. Yeah, you're not going to be able to stop yourself. Yeah. It's almost like those football plays where you see yeah. these linemen come in for the quarterback and yeah. they, they call the linemen for like landing on the quarterback. It's like, yeah, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not land. Um, yeah. You know, so. Uh, I like that. You know, Ava spotted up in her corner over here and then got the defender off, went to the basket. She went airborne, so did the defender. So I'm not sure how that becomes a charge, but whatever. Well, Ava took the same, I'm same course of action she did yeah. earlier in the quarter yeah. where she did that underhand. Shot that went in, so it looks like she was going for the same play. I'm going to move on and just make sure these officials don't get invited back. Yes. <laughs> hopefully they won't be doing a playoff game. But no. So, 45-35. Uh, Grizzlies maintain a 10-point lead with uh, 222 left in the third quarter. Leonard inbound this for Jirasi. Again, the game still has that same kind of sort of playoff feel. Yeah, every possession's important. That's right. Dupuy had the ball to Leonard to Jirasi. He's taking another three, and that just went off the rim. But Lavoy came down with the rebound off the rim again. Meredith went to Burns fighting her for the rebound. Lavoy got it out to Leonard. Leonard to Dupuy. Dupuy missed everything. I just everything don't there. understand. Three-pointer after three-pointer by them. Yeah, they shouldn't be taking them, but Ava Winterburns got it. She goes she underneath. Walked. Oh, she's calling yeah. up for a travel. Yeah, that she made that second step. She pivoted on with the right and then took the left. So good call on that one. So Leonard's going to inbound this to Jirasi. Jirasi with the ball. Kicks it over to Knight. Knight looks for Leonard underneath in front of Sasso, but it went to Jirasi. Over to Knight. That went off Knight. That should be. <laughs> they're calling that Astros ball? Bob, I will advise you the rest of the game, just call the opposite of what you think because that's what it'll be. It went off night. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, and obviously uh, Astros got the rebound and put it up. That was, I don't know what's going on here with the officiating. Sasso with the ball now. I just so, stop predicting the call and just wait for the call. We're just going to wait until done. I guess, we will, I guess we didn't see what we saw. Yeah. Sort of like the government these days. But anyway, Penny Annis. <laughs> oh, tried to put up a long two, just missed. Meredith. But Meredith went to Burn and came down with the rebound. She got the rebound again. Yeah. Ooh, she threw it off the back yeah. of the head of... <laughs> Grizzlies retain here. So a uh, minute to go here in the third. Ava Ruggiero is going to come back into the game. She's taken out spelling Maggie Sasso. Like you said, a minute in the third. So Ruggiero with the ball. Over to Meredith Winterburn, who's taking a three just off the rim. Ruggiero's fighting for the rebound. Good fight underneath. Yep, and went off Lavoy over to Leonard. So now it's over to Jirasi. Jirasi brings it down for the Astros. Ruggiero and her over to Knight. Knight take one, took one into the paint. Oh, Ooh. almost Lavoy threw it away here. Cut in front of Ava Winterburn and actually got a piece of that ball. Winterburn got it back to Penny Annis. Over to Ruggiero. Ruggiero. Over to Meredith Winterburn. Oh. Cross-court pass almost too far for 
but Caroline Foreman got that. Foreman over to Ava Winterburn, over to Penny, back to Ava. And the Grizzlies are slowing this down. There's only 23 seconds left in the quarter. Ruggiero, oh, oh almost lost the ball. She got that. Boy, but somehow she got it back, even though she's given up six inches. Meredith Winterburn now with the ball. 10 seconds, we gotta get ready to take it. Lavoy almost got the steal there. Meredith Winterburn goes in, blocked by Dupuy. Dupuy hit it down. Jirasi with the ball, over to Lavoy. Lavoy takes a long three, and that just missed going in. Yeah. All right, I'm out of breath. Yeah, so third quarter was quick pace there. Uh, eight points, uh, what do we got, eight point lead here for Goffstown. So they cut into the lead a little bit, but it was back and forth. I'll tell you, it, yeah. it, this is intense it basketball. Is intense. Um, it is intense. Both teams are playing very well. Um, and it seems that both teams are kind of good at making the other team pay the price for the mistakes here. I agree. Uh, um, so if there's a screw up, it's happening. And you have a feeling it's... It's going to come down to the wire here. It is. And I would like to see Goffstown get back to the early game plan, which was Maggie Sasso, Ava Ruggiero driving to the basket. If it's there, take the shot or look to kick it. Um, you know, we were successful early on with some of those other players getting those points inside. Um, I thought defensively it wasn't horrible. I mean, things look pretty good, and we're taking, we're taking care of the rebounds. For sure. Right. We're taking care of it. We're, we're not – coughing up the ball too often. Yep. Um, I do think from an Astros point of view, they you're right, they should be driving more and taking those Absolutely. twos. They're, they're, the points are coming from inside. I, yeah, and they're taking too it. many threes, but I don't want to tip them off. Their no. benches right here. Be quiet, Bob. Yeah. Let be them keep quiet. taking the threes. We want to give a shout out to our GTV crew too. We got Dave and Jen in the studio. We got Micah and Big Jason on the cameras here. Um, without them, we couldn't do it tonight. That's right. Actually, Dave isn't in the studio Well, tonight. pretend he he's, is. Yeah, he's pretending he, he is. He was here earlier. Yeah, he's, I guess it's candidates night yes. here tonight in Goffstown. So we got a lot going on. GTV, of course, does a great job of not only covering That's Goffstown sports, dribble. but also the politics of the day. Ava Winterburn now down low in the paint. Yeah. Oh, she's got three Astros on action. her. Over to Sasso. Sasso gets her own rebound, puts it up twice. There's no call. I don't understand how there's no foul. Again, if you think there's a foul, just close your Holy eyes. Remember, cow. this is what we're doing today. Well, the problem is the girls don't understand what is a foul and what's not a foul. Well, we don't either, apparently, because... Well, we're uh, not playing. There's <laughs> another one that... It's obviously some contact. Ava Winterburn had that ball over to Ruggiero. Ruggiero kicks it out to Sasso. Takes a long two. That went out. Uh, somehow, by a miracle, Jirasi kept that in over to Leonard, Turn but then over. LaVoy lost the ball. Yeah, she heard Winterburn stomping behind her, I think. Yep. Jirasi is playing hurt now because she's clearly limping on that yeah, leg. She is. She hurt earlier. So, Ruggiero now has the ball with seven minutes to go in this game, 45 to 37. So, the scoring slowed down. Remember, we were on pace for 80 at the yes, first true. quarter. We knew we weren't going to keep that up, but it slowed down quite a bit. Penny Annis with the ball now for the Grizzlies. She's got um, Dupuis all over her, and Good. they inbounded it in for Ava. Ava Winterburn, again, got her rebound twice, put that in. Yeah, somehow she's able to get that, you know, that position inside. They can lob it up to her. I don't know how she keeps doing that when she's got people hanging all over. Look, she's done it game after game after game. Good look by Maggie, though, to get it yep. into her. Leonard takes a long three off the rim. Yeah. Penny Annis did a good job of hitting that away to Ruggiero. Yeah, finally a foul. So I think we went about 10 Yeah, well, let's hope minutes. they're calling it the right way. Well, we you never know. Yeah. Red, Red three. three. So it's a night. So now you got Sasso who's going to inbound this to Ruggiero. The lead's back up to 10 now, but it still doesn't feel like a safe number it yet. Nothing does at this point. A part of it is because we don't know what to expect from the officiating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ava Winterburn with the ball. Kicks it out to Caroline Foreman. Over to Penny Annis. Annis over to Ava Winterburn. Winterburn over to Ruggiero. She took a three oh, off the rim. Penny Annis under there with Sasso fighting for the ball. I'm not sure how it's a travel. I don't, she doesn't I have, no have idea. the ball in her hands. Again, I don't uh, know. The officiating uh. here is very tough tonight. Anyway, Leonard inbound this to Jirasi. Jirasi now with the ball. Over to Leonard. Leonard goes in on Sasso. Kicks it back out to Jirasi. Jirasi tries to go in. Over to Knight underneath. Right. But Winterburn kind of shadowed her out. Ruggiero came down with the rebound. Yeah. 
Over to Giro's looking around. Over to Ava Winterburn. Over to Knight. I mean, over, <laughs> over to Annis. Or Win Knight. It or Knight, whatever. Like the it is Knight. Just make it you know. So Winterburn to Sasso. Sasso yeah, tries to go. Extra to call a foul. I mean, uh, travel. I think what I'd like to see from uh, from Maggie, she had that good first step, but then she kind of delayed and stopped. Take it to the basket, take it hard. So Meredith Winterburn checked back in here for Caroline Foreman. Let's look at Ruggiero trying to hit the ball away from Dupuis. Dupuis into Lavoy. Over to Leonard on the outside. Back to Dupuis. Lavoy takes a long three, but off the back good of the rim. Meredith. Meredith Winterburn did a good job. Of, I like that behind yeah. the back kind of pass here. I like to see the Grizzlies working for a good one. Ava Winterburn to Maggie Sasso. Sasso. Uh, looked around and then kept the ball over to Penny Annis. Over to Meredith Winterburn, who's turning into a scorer tonight. Meredith out to Maggie, to Ruggiero. Zero. Ruggiero take a long a three. High for three. <laughs> nothing but net. That yes. was a beautiful basket. 50-37, Grizzlies. Derossi's now got the ball, and she's working it down for the Astros. Underneath tonight, Knight tries to do a layup, and that just went off the rim. Dupuis got the rebound over to Leonard, and Leonard hit a three. And there's a timeout here for the uh, Astros. And I want to do a shout out to uh, John Winterburn. Yes, he's in Texas. He's out. He's out in Texas. He's a hardworking man, and uh, you know we're here to get to enjoy his sis uh, his daughters. That's right. Uh, yeah. Play tonight. D came over before the game and said, you know, we appreciate all that you guys do. He's traveling for work, and he's down in Texas able to watch it. So we've had a few comments through the season. People really enjoy it. We're glad to do it. Right. Uh, we have a love to be here and watch these girls play. So passing it along for you to enjoy at home uh, means a lot to us. That's right. And uh, it, it's great that uh, when you got parents and grandparents yeah. from really all over the country watching uh, their uh, – Seeds play here, right. you know, so the fruits of the labor. That's right. And I think the next two minutes are real crucial for both teams. It's a 10-point game. Um, you got to try to establish yourself here. Yeah, so there's four minutes left in the game. And you got Good Ava Winterburn went underneath, uh, do a layup. Uh, Knight was on her, so the, she's going to be called for a foul. So Winterburn will go to the line and get a chance to make this a three. Almost like I scripted that. Like, you know, these next couple minutes are very important. People like Ava Winterburn, who are at that superstar status, understand it. You know, it's time for me to really get to the basket. Right. So Winterburn's on the line, trying to make this a three-point play, and she does. So that brings the, the biggest lead of the night, 13 points for the Grizzlies. Jarossi now with the ball, works it in to Lavoie. Lavoie goes in on three Grizzlies and oh, I didn't know they I, I didn't see it. I trap. saw a hand on the back. Might have been a foul, but oh, I'm going to take that. Yeah, I'm since we've been called away. three times for travel, <laughs> I don't didn't get it. Happen. Again, we're going to remember you told me call the opposite. <laughs> Whatever you think it is, just call the opposite. Winterburn with the ball now, Ava. Oh, that was hit away by Knight. Winterburn to Ruggiero. Over to Vaughn. Vaughn to Meredith Winterburn. Meredith over to Ruggiero. Ruggiero with the ball. Tries to go in on Gerasi. Gerasi's all over Ava Ruggiero. Over to Winterburn. Back into Ruggiero. A lot of, a lot of bumping going on. Yep. Time Good out. time out here. Good time out. Um, yeah, Ruggiero's getting mugged over there. I don't know yeah, if anybody I, noticed. I, I, I don't know what if mugging was the appropriate term, but... <laughs> That was only 30 seconds, and I felt like we just played five minutes um, with the intensity on there. But, again, I think Coach Largy felt like this is a chance where you don't want to get a stupid turnover or, you know, throw the ball away. Right. They're putting a little pressure on. Obviously, they only have, uh, what, three team fouls. So they can be aggressive, and we know that the call might not be made tonight. So right. go for the ball, go for the ball, and that's exactly what they did. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, again, it, it, this game has had a very tight feel from the very beginning. Um, you know, you feel like you got a little breathing room now, but the, the Grizzlies can't let up at this point because this is a team that can come back on you really quick. Yep. I mean, and I think that's probably what he's saying in the huddle. He's like, look, there's, you know, three and a half minutes. We're in no hurry to score. If correct. it's there, take it to the basket. If not, work the ball around. Take, But you got to take care of the ball. You correct. can't just turn yep. it over. You know, if they can, if, if every offensive play, they can go down and kill 30 or 40 seconds, yeah, then, then, then the, the game. the game's going to be over yeah. quickly. Yep. 
So here we go. We got the Grizzlies coming out for the last three and a half minutes, three minutes and 23 seconds. And we got the starting five back out there on the court. Meredith Winterburn is going to inbound this. And she does to her sister, Ava, who feeds Meredith down low. Meredith kicks it out to Vaughn. Oh, right between yeah. her legs. Tough, tough pass to handle. Yep. That was a hard one. And that's right exactly pass. what we didn't want that happen, exactly. though, is a turnover. Exactly. That's so the now, right pass to make. But. Yep. Leonard got the ball and inbounded for Durasi. Over to Lavoy, who takes a three. Now, of course, they're kind of forced to take those yeah. threes. And she missed that one to Sasso. Ruggiero rightfully stands up and slows this down. That's right. Over to Winterburn. And Winterburn just stands nice Come and still. Don't play me, is what she's saying. That's right. Knight comes out the player. Over to Sasso. Sasso with two Astros on her. So they're going to double out team. Ava Winterburn. To... Meredith over to Vaughn. Ooh, Sasso. Ooh. Now, how is that not a jump ball if the other one was? I have no idea, but Lavoie's got the ball, and she inbounded it to Dupuis. Over to Knight, out to Jirasi on the corner, and just off the rim, Leonard got the rebound, and she put it up. Meredith went to burn to Ruggiero. We're down to two and a half minutes to go. Uh, the Astros coach is screaming about something. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what it is. She wants them upped on defense. I can't afford to stand back. It's two, just over two minutes to go. So she wanted them to press? Yeah. 23, that's LaVoy. It's her fourth. So she's up to four fouls. So at this point, you get the ball and she's guarding you. you got to go to the basket. Make her foul you. Yep. So Ava Ruggiero now with the ball. Ruggiero over to Meredith Winterburn. Meredith goes up underneath Meredith. and, uh, ooh. Almost sunk another one. Good take. It was a good take. Jirasi now with the ball coming down on Ruggiero. She takes a long three off the rim. That went back to Jirasi. Jirasi got her own rebound and put it back up for two. Vaughn to Sasso. Astros are pressing a little bit, but not a very effective one. Sasso got the ball. Meredith went to burn. Meredith got the ball. Throws it over to Ruggiero. Ruggiero slowing it down. Over to Vaughn. Vaughn's going to take a shot. From the corner. corner. Vaughn's corner and hits a three. That's a big one, Bob. It is a big one. You felt the momentum going a little bit. I just felt way. everybody like, gas for air. Good take by Lavoy. Yeah, and Lavoy drew a foul on Ava Winterburn. Yeah. So that's going to put Lavoy on the line. 12-point lead for the Grizzlies. That Vaughn corner, I'll tell you. It's nice. I'm glad we named it that. I know. Yeah. Vaughn Corner. We're much smarter than we look. That's right. See, you're picking up on my lines. That's good. I don't know if that's a good thing. The <laughs> boy with the first basket. 56-45 Grizzlies. The boy takes the second one. Got that in. Winterburn's not going to inbound this. Here. Astros all over them. Sasso with the ball. Out to Winterburn. Good. Over to Meredith Winterburn. Meredith brings it down. Right. She didn't go to the basket. That's good. No reason to rush a shot. We exactly. don't need any of the points. Ruggiero to Winterburn to Ruggiero. Out to Meredith Winterburn. Again, no shooting. Just kill the clock. Ava Winterburn over to Ruggiero. And they're forced to take a foul. So that'll put Ruggiero on the line. No, it won't. Oh, it's Not only yet. five on them. So this is where you want to play the big game of keep away and then get the ball in your best free throw shooter's hand. That's right. So Meredith Winterburn here is going to inbound this. Minute 10 to go. And over to Sasso. Ooh, that was hit away by Lavoie. And they're saying it went off Sasso. How is... I don't know. That, the, I, I, I don't understand. Lavoie, Lavoie looked at the ref and made the call. What happened was is Lavoie hit it away from Sasso. She hit it out. She looked at the ref and said it went off. And he doesn't even look over at yeah, the coach. He, so he, because I don't think he's paying attention to I the don't game. Think so either. I don't know how Chris Ruggiero hasn't given him a good earful <laughs> in the front row. I'm sure he is. Chris Ruggiero is fairly holding it together. <laughs> Trying to get his attention. You could see him over there. As, <laughs> he's phallically challenged, yeah. but you could tell his head's turning bright red. Oh. Yeah, he's wiping the sweat like oh, we got to make this. It's a ten point game. I mean, this is this is where you got to dig in. I mean, Pinkerton's got the ball here. Um, yeah. You gotta you gotta not give up that big play. They're looking for that spark, that momentum. Whether yep. that's a three pointer, a second chance, an and one, play really good defense, take care of the ball, and then you got to get ready. You're gonna get fouled. Right. You got to get ready. That's right. And there's like um, 
So minute seven seconds to go. Astros inbound this night to Durasi. Takes a long three. Ava Winterburns up there for the rebound. Uh, Leonard came down with it. Leonard takes a three, but it was oh, hit by Ava Winterburn. And Ruggiero goes down in a heap. Pinkerton player came through the lane swinging. And somehow it's their ball. I don't understand this. Yeah, I mean, if... Sorry, tonight the officiating has been brutal. Yeah, brutal. Thank anyway. God the Pinkerton can't hit a shot at this point. There it is, Winterburns just holding on to this yeah. ball. Why it took him 10 minutes to All call right, a jump. Ball. So we're going to try to just hold on and survive at this point because uh, the officiating is really suspect. Well, like you said, I mean, the worst part is it's just so inconsistent. And, you know, I'm the first to admit that we're kind of homers, but, uh, you know, this is... But there's been miserable calls both ways. So the, the official on this sideline didn't see it, deferred to his partner, and he couldn't see it, and he right. called it ours. So he's on our side. Yeah. We'll take him. We don't know what's All going right, on. All right, let's finish this up here. 43 seconds. Meredith went to burn. To Ava went to burn. Ava goes in. Clearly that's being foul. held. Yeah. Somehow, somehow we called it before the official did, but he finally woke up. So girls, it, what's funny is you're watching the girls communicate. Ava's turning her and the other girl's saying, I'm trying to foul you, and then now they're not calling it. Yeah, right. I'm going to hug you, Ava. Get yeah. ready. Ava Winterburn with the ball. The night's going in, yep. and she fouled her. Yes, she got it. They've got to extend the game here. Ava's intentionally hanging on to the ball because she wants to be able to go to the line, so it makes sense. So this is what we talked about earlier. We said, you know, free throws are important in these championship playoff type games. You got to take care of the, you know, the little things. So the free throws are important. Let's see if uh, Ava can hit these. And we've been hitting the majority of them. We have. We're so. 11 for 12. So I just jinxed us probably. And you did. Thank you, Rob. Thanks. Thanks for bringing it up. That's Bob. right. Send in your letters to Rob <laughs> Foreman <laughs> at robforeman.com. Anyway, Knight gets the ball. She puts They've it up. They've just gone cold. Meredith Winterburn now with the ball. Throws it to uh, Ava to Ruggiero. Oh, Ruggiero somehow <laughs> between the legs. Yeah. Almost Largy kept telling that in. the team, we don't need that. That's, you know, 20 seconds. We don't need to throw it down the length of the floor. We know they're right. going to foul us, so. Okay, so Leonard to Jirasi. Jirasi works it in. Over to Knight. Went off kind of her head and shoulder. Oh, Ruggiero. Look at that. Ruggiero. Ruggiero gets the interception. Just hold the Ruggiero ball. Hold over the ball. to Sasso. Just wait. Oh, all right, Ava it. went to burn. She's just going to hang on to it the last three That'll seconds. Wow. This was uh, quite a game. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like a 10-point victory, but it was. Yeah, it was. You know, they did They did enough to win. They played two good halves. Um, yep, they put I, it together. Cl clearly, the Grizzlies were the better team tonight, clearly. Um, Pinkerton, really, I'd like to see a stat sheet. I can't imagine they shot any better than 20% from the floor. They right. missed a lot of shots, a lot of shots. And they had, they had some trouble on the free throw line. Uh, you know, so they, yeah. they, they were having trouble with, with getting some baskets. And, um, you know, the rebounds started out, I think, fairly even early in the game, but later in the game... Uh, I yeah. think the Grizzlies started taking over. Yeah, and I thought I thought Pinkerton looked kind of tired. Um, yeah, they got some long faces here, but these are two teams that are evenly matched, and you might see them against each other later in the playoffs. So it, it could happen. I mean, Pinkerton is a very good team, and it's certainly been uh, the best team we've faced in the past couple of weeks. Absolutely. You know, so the Grizzlies moved to fourteen and three. Uh, Pinkerton drops to thirteen and four. So still one more game on Friday. They we go up to Alvern and. Uh, they're headed to Keene. No, no, no. They're headed to Merrimack. So uh, Merrimack's a decent opponent, but you think it's going to play out. Um, Goffstown the, gets the four seed. Right. Yeah, or they should. You know, they, they got to have to take care of business on Friday. Absolutely. Um, so, but uh, like you said, this, this game had a playoff feel from beginning to end. And you know what it is, is that, you know, the Stars did what the Stars do. Absolutely. Um, we were counting on, you know, Ava Winterburn, obviously, to do the scoring, and she scored. And the thing I liked the stepping up was uh, Meredith Winterburn, her sister. Yeah, absolutely. Really stepped Meredith it up. had a really solid game. And then we waited almost to the end of the game to get that Vaughn corner. Yeah. And uh, Ava hit a really big three-pointer. Because I thought that was a point where the momentum could have really moved to Pinkerton. That needle moves towards them. And Vaughn just hit it, nailed it, put it. Shut it, happened at, it happened at a crucial time. It One did. of the things is, is of course, uh, you know, being sports fans, and I am watch a lot of Bruin games and stuff, and they talk about in the Bruins that, 
sometimes the goaltender making a key save at the right time. Absolutely. It's not just about making the save, but it's about when you make it. And uh, that's the way I looked at that whole uh, thing with the Vaughn. I, I, it was a basket we needed. We hadn't scored in the, you know, yeah. a little bit. And uh, it was kicked out the Vaughn at the time where the Astros were they put a couple together. So they're going to put together a little run. And uh, Vaughn sunk a nice three. So that, that was a valuable thing for, for the Grizzlies. Uh, just to also let Jen know back in the studio, because we're a little shorthanded out front, we're going to do some interviews. So we'll do the Rose Between Two Thorns, and we're going to sort out who we're going to bring in here to interview. And uh, we'll be right back with our interview segment in just a couple of minutes. So Jen, we'll sign off for now. Just my joke. But if we keep moving it ain't us that's gonna wind up broke. some people might think we're crazy but crazy is all we've known it's probably that they just ain't ready that's why they're going up in smoke we're giving this all we
moving forward. Grizzly fans, and we're back here at the Grizzly Den where the Lady Grizzlies just uh, played a good game and beat uh, the Pinkerton Astros uh, by 13 points. And we're here with one of our roses for tonight, uh, Miss <laughs> Ava Ruggiero, who played a heck of a game. And, uh, you know, your father, I know, showed me a text to you earlier that he cautioned you to not get into early foul trouble. And for the, probably the first time, you actually listened to him. She had no fouls at halftime. I didn't? You did not. You did not. Really? I yeah. thought you did too, but no. your father corrected me. I, I thought actually, I had my first, my first one, I think, you was have, before halftime. You have no fouls the entire night. You took an offensive no. foul. I, I, I thought I had one. I thought you did too, but they're know. saying no. Oh, okay. But you had none in the first half, according nice. to your father, yeah. uh, your grandmother, <laughs> and, uh, and Rob. And me, and I'm in charge. So. Okay, okay. Hot. Just go with it. That's good. Usually I, I use them all. So. I well, I know. Actually, I'm surprised. Does that mean you didn't have as good a game as we think? Because normally, unless <laughs> no, you're... No, maybe they just weren't calling it on me. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to like I was trying to get a lot of offensive fouls because like, I don't want to, ha to let them have the easy points. Like I was stepping up trying to take a charge. There was one time um, she was uh, driving, and I stepped up, and I took a charge, and she passed it, but they didn't call it a charge. True. I, I like, remember that. Come yeah. on. I so, do remember it. I redeem myself, and they call it the next do one. Do you have any idea how many charges you've taken this season? This season? Yeah. I mean, you're leading the team. I don't have that number, but <laughs> you're leading the team. For uh, sure. You're leading the league, actually. Probably 10, 8 maybe? I would say that's a good Hopefully. number. Hopefully. I would say. So, yeah. look, this was um, – we called it the first of the playoff season games. This yeah. Is two teams come in here, same record, 13-3, and three, mm -hmm. very evenly matched, both athletic – they had a little more height than some of the other opponents we've seen recently. Yeah. Um, we thought it'd be a close game, and it was a close game. So tell us about what your preparation was like, knowing that this is the start of the playoff season, essentially. Well, our mindset going into the game, we know they're they're good at driving. Like we need to stop that, and like we need to see help. We know who their shooters were. Mm -hmm. We just closed out good on them, and honestly, like our help defense was there, and like uh, we were digging good on the drives, and I feel like that's what got us away with the more points. Yeah. yeah, the officiating was uh, something to be desired tonight. It was very <laughs> uh, inconsistent. I felt earlier, uh, well, later in the first half, but earlier in the game, in the first half, um, it looked like some of the girls out here in the court, you and Ava uh, Winterburn and stuff, were getting a little frustrated with some of the calls that they weren't going your way. How do you guys, uh, I mean, do you, is that something, first of all, that you guys talk about? And how do you kind of hold your composure when things kind of aren't going your way or it gets a little rough or you, you get a foul against instead of four? Yeah, well, personally, like, I know, like, if I just argue the call, they're not going to call it. They're going to call the same call again, and we're not going to win that way. So, like, maybe I'll just be mad for a few seconds, but usually I just let it go, like, there's no point in arguing. Like, I'm either going to get teed up or benched or there's no there's no positive side. That's a like, good idea. Yeah. But, like, it does get frustrating because, like, you think you have a good move and you get hacked. And, like, 
you're just mad because you're just on the ground, like, wishing you got the foul. But then you're like, maybe I should just go stronger next time and make the shot so I wouldn't have to worry about that. I, they kept their composure much better than we did. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you, though, for anybody who's watching who does not know Ava Ruggiero, this is really Ava Ruggiero. I mean... You're, you're an amazing human being, and you come across, and this is exactly who you are. You know, like, oh, I'm laying there on the ground, and I realize I should have, maybe I'll just make the shot next time and not worry about it. And that's exactly the way it looks like you're thinking out there. Um, did you guys feel coming into this, though, that this, I mean, did you almost have a feeling that this was almost like a playoff game? Because it, it sort of had that feeling from the beginning. I felt it in the crowd. I felt it, like, almost with the warm-ups. It, it just felt different. Yeah. We knew coming in we are probably going to play them second round of playoffs. And I think to determine, like, where we play, if we win this game, we play home, which is a huge advantage um, compared to playing at Pinkerton. And I feel like we definitely, like, needed the feel. And it, it was playoff feel. I mean, I don't think the crowd was playoff-like. I mean, but the feel of the game, we're both, like, competitive teams. So I think it was really good competition. And I hope to see them again in playoffs because I think we'll do good. Yeah, well, I agree too. Wood, I, don't know. I agree too. <laughs> <laughs> that's plastic, though. We'll pretend. No, this is. Oh, that. Wood. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. Wood. Particle board. Told you she's we'll quicker. She is quick. <laughs> she's quick. She's keeping us honest. I think, as far as the crowd thing, it was probably your father holding them down. Um, yep. at, there, He's got at, that playoff mentality. Yeah. At one point, though, when the the official who was having a tough night, I think, uh, was it right in front of him. We were literally commenting on your dad, was, and his head looked he like a thermometer yeah. because it looked like. Uh, <laughs> You it know, was the play Maggie. <laughs> the ball gets inbounded to Maggie. Oh, she tipped the ball, right? And the girl tipped it out of Maggie's hand, and they said it was their ball. Yeah, it, like, <laughs> she clearly tipped it. And also, there was one down here, too, where the girl clearly hit it. Um, I think it was off of Ava yes, Winterburn's hand. it was. And, like, they caught it. There, I was like, what? <laughs> it was crazy. I, you, but, like. I give you guys credit because you kept your composure. We were, we were getting a little crazy over here. Like, come on. This is ridiculous. Um, all right, you got one more game Friday. You got you to gotta finish out the regular season. All right, so a big win tonight. You mm -hmm. put two really good halves together. You got to yeah. go up to Alvern. Um, you know, what's what's the mindset moving into Friday, last regular season game? Um, honestly, like, looking at Alvern's record, they don't look like a good team, but I know they're competitive and they're fast and they know what they're doing. So I feel like we just need to play our game, push a ball, and um, just play how we play because that's how we win. Well, yeah. we're glad that um, you got a win tonight. We're glad we're going to get a home playoff game, so we yeah. at least one one more day of it on the job uh, yeah. announcing. So that's right. We we appreciate it. Excellent game tonight. Thank you. Um, we'll come back with our second rose uh, in a couple minutes. So we'll sign sign off for for a moment. Don't don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, Jen. Thank you. Hello, Grizzly fans, and we're back here live from the Grizzly Den with our second Rose of the Night, Miss Meredith Winterburn. And, you know, we've had, you know, game after game after game. Uh, we've we've done interviews with Ava, and uh, it's it's been a hell of a season for her. Mm -hmm. I mean, I outstanding. Agree. Hit a 1,000 points, senior night. Everything happened. Yep. Uh, obviously, teams are keying on her, and we need other people to score. And, Meredith, you just – the reason why you got the Rose tonight is you just really stepped up. I mean, you were just hitting them from everywhere tonight. So uh, did, did you have the mojo coming in? Did you feel you were ready or what? Yeah, um, I was actually, when we were at Playa today before the game, I was mentioning to everyone I haven't hit double digits. So the, the whole season, I think my highest before this was like seven or nine. So I, I knew it was You had nine at halftime tonight. Yep. And I, like, my goal for the game, I know it shouldn't be because, like, play <laughs> like a team, but, like, my scoring goal was to get double digits. 
because, I mean, end of the season, they got to do something like that. <laughs> so. Right. Well, I like keep that fire going. We need it because uh, we know that your sister's going to get her 20 points, but it's it's you, it's Maggie, it's Avery Ruggiero. When you guys chip in 10 and 12 points, it helps out everybody. So yeah, keep, I agree. keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, we almost can't lose if everybody's scoring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, bottom line is if Ava's being counted on to bring all the offense, um, you know, especially when we start playing those better teams like Bedford and BG and uh, Portsmouth, um, they're going to have a little bit more success of s cooling her down or slowing her down at least. So it, it is important that everybody's scoring. But how did you look at this game going in? What were you looking at to have happen? Well, um, we know that Liz Lavoy is a really big threat from Pinkerton. So obviously our goal was to kind of shut her down, um, play our best defense against her, do what we can to kind of not let her score, but also Pinkerton has many levels of scores. Um, I would say their entire bench is a really big threat to us. So our goal going into the game was like just kind of shut them down, play our best defense, and never give up on that end, um, and try not to foul. I think I, we have a big problem getting into foul trouble, so we didn't want to do that either. Yeah, we just talked to Ava Ruggiero about that. She didn't have any. Speaking of foul trouble, she didn't have any fouls yeah. tonight, which is unbelievable. <laughs> Maybe she had one, but my book says zero. Right. Um, and we uh, know she didn't have her typical yeah. Yeah, yeah. four. <laughs> yeah, but I think you're right. You know, if we stay out of foul trouble, we're we're tough. I mean, you I know, agree. we we're really only playing seven players, but our seven, I'll put our seven up against anybody. Oh yeah. Um, I mm -hmm. just think we play as a as a cohesive unit and as a team. Um, you know, what Bob was talking about this game in particular. Um, was night one of the playoffs. You know, this this can secure a fourth seed for you yep. guys. Um, there was a good crowd here tonight. You could feel the tension. Mm -hmm. um, I said early in the broadcast, I'd like to see you guys put two halves together, two really good halves. Mm -hmm. That happened tonight. You put two really good halves. So at halftime, it was a 10-point lead. What was your focus as you guys sat in the locker room? Um, maintain that lead, especially because um, if we think back to Bedford, we kind of – we were up a 10 at the half against yep. a very good team, just like we were up against a very good team here. And we blew it last time. Uh, we didn't play our best offense or defense, and we kind of let that lead go to our head. And I, our goal was to not let that happen and keep playing like we're down 10 instead of up 10. Good, yeah. Yeah, and, and basically you guys did that. I mean, from beginning to end, we were commenting like later in the game and after the game that uh, – you guys put together two good halves, um, so you got to be happy with this performance. And uh, and this was not against a slouch team. I mean, we put together two good halves, obviously against some of the weaker opponents, um, but here against the the Astros. And you knew they were going to make adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustments did you see them making? Well, I think on the defensive end, they kind of stepped it up a little bit. Um, we in the first half, I think we didn't settle for threes as much as we usually do. Um, we were kind of penetrating more, and I think they had to adjust to that because they weren't expecting that much of a drive. Their help kind of shifted, I feel like. Um, on the offensive end, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I got to think, I got to think. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, so they have a play where they do a lot of curling, and um, we kind of shut that down. We knew that was coming, so they had to make adjustments like that on offense, like stop doing that kind of looking more for a back cut on an overplay so we also had to adjust to that on defense right so one more game in the regular season you got to go up to Alvern mm -hmm. um, Bob and I think you should have that mentality that I'm going to score double digits we like that absolutely yeah. um, and like you said it's, and a, you team, can do it. it's a team game um, and you know when they stop you then look to kick it to your teammates because you know they're going to score right um, so that aside from you getting double digits what's the focus Friday night as you finish out the regular season we just want to close out the way we've been playing lately um, with the same intensity, the same effort, same tempo. We like to create our own tempo this season. Um, I think defensively we need to just keep it locked in, no fouls. Well, not no fouls, but keep, keep, keep down. everyone under yep. five, please. Because yep. <laughs> <laughs> we have struggles with that a lot. Um, and with a team like Alvern, they're kind of versatile, I think, and um, – like, so it's going to be a challenge nonetheless, but we just have to keep that focus on defense especially. But offense, just keep doing what we do, keep pushing transition, you know, just doing us. Awesome. Outstanding, fun night tonight, yeah, fun. very exciting game. Um, so we're, we're signing out for now to do Coach's Corner. And this is Meredith Winterburn, Rob Foreman, Bob Bertolucci, and Jen will be right back in just a couple of minutes.
Hello, Grizzly fans, and we're joined by a whole crowd of people tonight. <laughs> uh, we're here with the coach. Um, so, coach, I got backup tonight. Yeah, yes. I got backup. I'm Go, usually cornered, you but better I better say the right thing. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. You, you wanted to get bailed out of coach's corner. So, uh, coach, I mean, I don't know. We we felt from the very beginning this sort of game had a playoff feel from yeah. the start. Um, what was the thinking going into this game, and how were we, we going to approach Pinkerton to begin with? Um, that they're a really good basketball team, and and uh, it was going to be similar to the you know the the matchups that we we just had Portsmouth here feels like not too long ago uh, Bedford we knew it was going to be a, a knockdown drag out that type of game and you know tried to prepare mentally for that game there's a lot of common uh, you know kids that play you with each other kids that went to middle school with each other kids that you know so there's a lot of crossover with Pinkerton so the kids know each other pretty well the coaches know each other pretty well a ton of respect for their program so um, just really good to be able to come out with a win tonight. Even even when we were ahead, um, even when we started to increase the lead a little bit, um, it, it really never felt that safe. I mean, until no. late in the game uh, where you felt like you had control when we were 13 points up late in the fourth quarter. But um, even when we were up by 10 at halftime, I, it felt good that we were ahead. Mm -hmm. But you never felt like, well, this game's in the bag. Yeah, I mean... you. They, they can do so much offensively. They're a team that, that averages close to 60 points a game. And so you know if you let them get loose that they can score in bunches. And, and so it should never feel safe. You know, you could be up 20 on that team, yeah. and it's, it's not a safe lead because of uh, their, their firepower. But I, I think we're a really good defensive team, and we know that. I don't know how much credit we've gotten for that, but um, – but we, we definitely knew that collectively in the locker room, and I think uh, we, we stay true to what we do defensively, to our, uh, to our switching, to our, uh, our defensive principles that are, that are just like no matter who we're going to play against, we're, we're going to know the scouting report and contest, and um, just all credit to the kids for, for working so hard and, and, and doing I, all the right things. I agree. I don't know that um, you guys get enough credit for the defense. I, I've mentioned in the broadcast before, you're one of the only teams around that switches on everything because you guys are deep enough to do that. You have athletes that can handle yeah. that. Um, this was a very good team that got off some okay shots tonight. Probably would have been good shots against other opponents. Right. But you, de you defended the perimeter very well. Prevent the post, the inside game. They had a tough time getting off a shot. Yeah. And I kept saying, boy, if they catch fire. But they just never yeah. did. And I, credit, I do credit that defense. Um, way to go. Let's talk about Meredith Winterburn. She had nine and a half time. We were smiling over here. We're like, oh, we love this. She's taking it to the hole. She's shooting it from the outside. Um, you know, talk a little bit about her. She's that underclassman that's really uh -huh. complimented this senior class. Uh -huh. um, fits in perfectly. Um, talk a little bit about her game. Oh, I mean, I mean, she is all effort, all energy, 100% of the time, 24-7. And she's such a quick study. Yeah. Right? She's a sophomore, but she's smarter than, you know, <laughs> most, you know, people my age so i mean when you have well that ain't setting the bar very <laughs> no, high. I, I, fair. <laughs> you should do better than that that is that is fair but she she is a uh, uh mensa level student yeah. and i mean even even on the basketball court she kind of brings that with her so she understands so much and she knows how to play the game the right way right so whether it's scoring we're getting a loose ball or getting a rebound. She knows that just every possession matters. Every, you know, she beats herself up over turnovers. It's usually like she turns the ball over. I'm like, and she's already criticizing herself and beats me to it. So, I mean, the maturity is something that's really amazing. And the, the basketball that has come along with that um, and the confidence that's come along with that, I mean, that's a really nice change for her. And, and for her to be able to do against kids that she – plays against all the yeah. time and respects and we're so happy for for these kids absolutely there was a point late in the second half um and the offense looked like it was just sputtering a little mm. bit and you called a quick timeout um you could feel it it was, it was a point in the game where you didn't want to turn the ball over either because it was either at that 10 or 8 point you know you don't want them to get that momentum get on a run so what is a coach doing in that timeout you can feel it starting to slip. How do you focus them back together and coming out of the huddle? What's that game plan? Yeah, I think we're talking about quality shots and talking mm -hmm. about um, making the possession matter and getting the best look that we can get on the floor. 
And I'm not sure if you're talking about the time on the first half or the second half, but um, the one in the first half was pretty, like, we do need a bucket here. We yeah. need a score. We do have number 12. Right. So that takes a lot of the thinking out when you're, when you're a coach to be able to say, hey, we can get one right here. So in the first half, we, we you know, kind of cleared something out for Ava, and she was able to kind of get to the basket. And that, um, just that one look, I think, got us moving against it offensively. And the, on the, in the second half, it was more timeout. Let's think about time and score. Yeah. Let's think about getting the best look in the possession. If, if we can have a possession that takes a minute, great <laughs> right yeah. and so those are things that we're still learning we're a team that wants to play fast because of the athletes that we have if we can kind of learn to play with tempo and control that's that championship level that yeah. we want to get to that's what yeah that's what we're looking for and i remember the first half one too that because you're right because if we we started the second quarter they got on a little run where they got a couple of baskets and we stayed stuck on 20 for a little while um because it was 2013 i think at halftime yeah, yeah. It took us and a while it's to get that first it, it one. took us a few minutes yeah. in to to get that other bucket there was one other key play that we pointed out during the game too where again pinkerton was starting to come back a little bit and we refer to it as uh vaughn's corner oh, and vaughn That's took a, a nice shot. three and that was a big shot i i I akin it to like a Bruins game or sometimes when they talk about the goalie making a key save. He might have made 30 saves, but there's one particular point where they really needed the save. And I looked at that as being a crucial basket for Vaughn on that three-point play. It How was. Did, it, and, and it's funny because we, we talk the game, we think the game a lot on the bench. And that came at a time and place where... Ava Vaughn could have passed up that shot and it wouldn't have been the end of the world. But right. I'm so happy that she shot the shot because of the confidence that it took to take it. And we're, like, I think the lesson that we, we kind of learned from that is we're, we're, we always want to play aggressively. And if we have an open look, we're going to take the open look. And um, I, I think that's an important way of playing the game. Like, you, you can sometimes tie yourselves up in knots by saying, well, you know, time and score and, and maybe take take the possession um but i i think i love that we have the confidence to be able to take a shot yeah. in that situation and really that iced the game you're right bob that was a big one and well, we said that on the bench very very shot. good players can rise to that occasion and make that big shot and that's you could feel it i watched their coach after the shot went in and it was like you know the wind was out of the sails. Right, like, the balloon like, popped. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we had things, momentum going our way, and, man, they just hit a great shot. And the hat's off, David. That was a great shot. All right, so we got to uh, finish out the regular season. we got to head up to Alvern. Um, you know, you come out of this environment where you're playing against two playoff teams. Yeah. Um, you got to go up to Alvern on the road. What's the focus Friday night? Super tough place to play. Very well coached team. Very aggressive. They've got two kids that can score the ball really well. They've got a Right. Really great defensive defensive player in Ali Sharn. Um, they're a balanced team. The record maybe doesn't show exactly how good they are in terms of their potential of playing. I think they're another team, too, that just like this Pinkerton team, scary, scary team in another yeah. year or so because, they're, because of how young they are. And so we've got to take that one seriously. We want to go into the playoffs on the right foot. That's the other message is, yes, all right, good for us. Beat, beat a really good team. Um but going in kind of on the right foot, you know, in that yeah. first game of the playoffs is super important. So that comes down to how you play your last game, how you practice before leading into that playoff game. So we got to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. So it looks like we clinched at least fourth place, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if we're yeah. doing the math correctly, I mean, we won't know probably or we won't feel like we know until Saturday when the, right. we see the pairings come out from the HIAA. But uh, I, I think we're under that impression right now that it's – Maybe two home playoff games. So, Which is very so good. we're still in business so for we're at still, least yeah, another right. week or so. Yeah. We have a shot to win. We have Gotta a shot win. to upgrade our contract. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So those games are survive in advance. So we want to, you know, keep you guys in business as long as we can. That would that would that would be great. Yeah, we've enjoyed it, Coach. We've said it before. This is a special group of girls. They're they're tight. Um, you guys have developed an environment for them to be themselves. Um, they're comfortable around you. They're comfortable around each other. It's a heck of a lot of fun for us. And, again, I've said I've, I've got a daughter out there, so it's easy for me to watch. But if my daughter wasn't playing, I would come watch this team. They're, She's still shooting. Yeah, they're, right 
She's got to yeah, got to break that slump. Um, shots up. <laughs> but there, this team is just fun to watch, and to watch you guys on the sideline, you're in total control in in developing and mentoring them into fine young women. So hats off to you. We've enjoyed it all season. Yep. We're looking forward to uh, cool. Friday night and then hats the playoffs. Off to the Hopefully parents. a long yeah, playoff absolutely. run. Yeah. Um, so anyway, this is live from the Grizzly Den. Bob Bartolucci, Coach Rob Largi, Foreman. Rob Foreman. We're signing out. Jen, thanks for everything, babe. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys.